y'all welcome back to my channel today i'm here with another foundation review and today we'll be trying out the new laura mercier real flawless weightless perfecting foundation before we get started if it is your first time watching please hit the subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber don't forget to hit the like button foundation retails for 48 dollars it's available in 30 shades it has a natural finish it is waterproof long wearing and medium cover and with the shade 5 in 2 cardamom i was actually looking at the shade before this um five and one cinnamon but at the last second i decided to go with this so i'm praying that this is a good shade match does come with a Today for primer i will be using a tom ford soft matte primer i'm gonna just go in with the foundation i'm gonna do about a i'm gonna do two pumps as you see it's kind of got like a watery consistency it's runny a little bit y'all i feel like this was a perfect shade match also i don't think this is medium coverage i used a pump i'm going to go in with another pump because i still see some of my skin go in with another pump well i'm winning with two because i feel like i need to the foundation on this is what my face looks like as you see it is very skin like it is giving your skin but better y'all the coverage on this is very light i feel like this is pretty close to uh skin tint coverage you ever you know what you ever tried the uh, laura mercier um tinted moisturizer um the one i think it's in a white tube i used to have it the coverage on that I feel like was really good for a skin tint. This is pretty comparable to that as far as the coverage. I know on camera I said I was going to go in with um, another pump. On camera I did go in with another pump. I feel like I used about two and a half pumps to cover up um, any dark spots or just not to see my skin peeking through. And that's a lot of foundation for me. Normally I go in with one pump or a pump and a half. And I really feel like I used about two and a half. So to me that's a lot just to cover up dark spots on my face because I don't want my skin peeking through if I'm wearing foundation. If I want my skin peeking through, then I will use a tinted moisturizer. So that's like my slight little complaint. And that, I look poreless. Y'all know that's the look I love. So I'm going to do my normal wear test and then I'll be back in a couple hours to let y'all know my final thoughts and then we'll see how well does this hold up. But right now, I really do like it. I just wish it had more coverage. I don't want to put a lot of foundation on to cover up dark spots on my face and I finally got my skin to the point where my dark spots are actually fading so I don't have like a lot of things I need to cover so the fact that I had to go in with a lot that could be an issue for somebody if they have a lot of hyperpigmentation because you might have to put about four or five pumps of this on to get the kind of coverage that you want now some people might not mind it but yeah I'll just see y'all in, in a few after having this foundation on for 10 hours this was a long wear test i didn't plan on it being that long but it just ended up happening that way which i'm kind of happy about just because we really got to see how long wearing that this foundation is this is very long wearing as you see i'm not shiny at all and i did not touch my face up at all today i didn't touch it with no powder i had a mask on this kind of transferred a little bit on a mask it wasn't a lot but you do get some slight transfer Y'all, I really like this foundation a lot. I do still feel like I wish it had more coverage, but just the fact of how good it looks and how well it holds up, I don't mind going in with a lot because even with me using um, two pumps or two and a half pumps, it never once looked heavy or felt um, heavy on my face. It feels very lightweight. It doesn't look cakey. Um, this foundation looks just as good as it did when I first applied it. Y'all familiar with my foundation wear test? A lot of times I come back looking a greasy mess. Um, this looks really good. I do have some shine right there. But this doesn't look bad at all. This didn't separate or start to fade. Like this is a really good 
foundation. I feel like this is perfect for all skin types. Out of all the new foundations that recently came out the last couple months, this hands down will be my favorite one. This will be the one that I would recommend um, y'all to go out and pick up just in case if they're like too many foundations and you don't want to try them all. This is the one to get. Like I really like this a lot. Like I'm really impressed. I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I do, but this is going into rotation. I can see myself using this often. This is a really nice foundation. Like, I don't have much to say about it other than the fact that I really do like Very it. Very natural. It's your skin but better. It is flawless. You're going to look poreless. It's going to hold up. So if you're somebody who's working long days and you need your foundation to be long wearing on oily skin, this is one to get. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm actually giving this foundation a 10. Y'all, this is the one to pick up. If you didn't want to get the Gucci one, trying to think, what's another one that came out recently? The um, Makeup Forever um, powder. It's a couple other ones I can't think off the top of my head. Um, this one is Anyway, nice. y'all, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Um, do you plan on picking this up? Do you have it already? What are your thoughts? And most importantly, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.